Chain, chain, chain. Chain of keys. <laughs> it's a chain, chain, chain. Chain of keys. Which actually, when you think about it, makes a lot more sense than chain of food. Which is what. I thought it was chain of fools. Oh, I thought it was food. Chain of food. I thought it was chain of fools. Oh. Who well, sings it? I don't know. But it's like a classic jazz yeah. standard. I'll look it up. You can keep going though. Yeah. So, anyway, I wanted to make this video. These are two keychains that I'm giving to the Deviant Historian because they have significance in telecom history. Yeah. And on the other side, it shows the co-op that, that I got them from, but I won't show you that. But uh, they're both for, for telephone co-ops, and the Deviant Historian is really into uh, the history of telecom, so I thought he might like those. Yeah. And it's like a local co-op around here that's been around forever, probably over 100 years. It's a chain of fools. Really? Yeah. Huh. That makes sense. That makes more sense than chain of food. Yeah, I always thought it was fools because when you're saying food, I'm like, what the hell? You know, fast food chain. Yeah. Fast food chain of fools. Yeah. Can't get no staff. Gonna shut it down. That's like a rare case of me mishearing something instead of I know. Usually, I just can't hear it for shit, and you're just like, ah, here's chain of fools. Yeah. Like, hey, dude, did you see that movie Can Cancel Culture 1 or Can Cal Cal Calicorn 1? Yeah, you're like, Capricorn It's, it's Capricor Capricorn 1, Capcom 1, and yeah. it's Capricorn 1. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, but here I call it Chain of Fool Food. Food, well, it never made sense to me. Anymore. I always thought, I, Chain of Fools, like they're all fools getting fooled. Yeah. Um, probably, you're probably hungry when you heard it the first time. Well, one of the first concerts I ever went to was a college jazz concert oh. that, uh, at the local community college. And that was one of the first uh, concerts I ever went to. And I had a good time. But I, I remember hearing somebody, hear, they performed that song. And it was this female singer. And I could have sworn she was saying Chain of Food. Maybe I was just hungry. Was she a big woman or was she pretty tiny? She was like small. Okay. She was like rather thin and elegant. Well, then you should have been like, you need some chain of food. Yeah. Go her up. But, but I, I thought like maybe chain of food because like it's about poor people who are starving and so they're dreaming about all this food. I mean, the only food that comes in a chain that I can think of is like hot dogs. Yeah, sausages, hot dogs. I'm trying to think of what else. That's pretty much it. Chain of wieners. Yeah. Chain, chain, chain. Yeah. So anyway, keychains <laughs> are are, um, are uh, very common. I mean, th these are like standards in all of our lives. I would bet that almost every person in the Western world uses a keychain every day. Not if they have a smart home. Yeah, but um, and these key rings, I mean, they're pretty simple design. You just pull them open. Put the key in between the, the the pieces of metal there and slide it in, and they're pretty reliable, you know. But one thing that I found out recently is that keychains weren't always like that, and there used to be a design of keychains that looked like this. This one is for DX, which is a gas station that used to exist. It doesn't anymore. Richard Nielsen, Central City, Iowa. Huh. Even has his phone number and everything. But you wow. you yank this thing, you you hold it in the middle like that, yank that thing out, and the keys go go there. And this thing gets slid between see there's it's like a disc with this groove and it snaps right in like that. Wow. And I got these from an older relative and I asked them like why why like why they stop making them like this? Because it's a fairly, you know, straightforward design. In some ways, it's easier to put a key on one of these, like just slide the key onto one of these, than to pull apart a key ring like that. I think it'd be easier to lose a key, though. 
Well, that's what I first wondered. I wondered if maybe like maybe they're not maybe they weren't reliable. Yeah. See, like this one, I'm having trouble. Well, actually, it's it's different design. It's got like two holes there, and it just goes in the hole. So it's a slightly different design even than that. But they're these two are still much more alike than than to to each other than to these two. But I thought you know maybe they weren't reliable. Maybe like the the plastic part wears out. Uh -huh. or cracks off or something and maybe that's why the why they weren't made anymore um, this relative i was speaking with thinks that it had more to do with uh, cost like maybe these were more expensive to make and key just simple key rings like this are cheaper but i don't know for sure but these date back to i think like around the like the 1960s maybe 1970s this one is like Looks like it's an Amico. Huh. Vern Standard, another gas station. So, you had a, a relative who owned a gas station. Yeah, they had an Amco. Did they ever make keychains like this? Uh, probably. They had a whole bunch of promotional stuff. I luckily got a majority of it, but it was nothing like, no keychains that I could remember. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought it'd be cool to make a little video like this because I... This is kind of a, an unofficial addition to my artifact series, which I'm, I'm toying with the idea of, of making a series, making it official. It's, it's artifacts with a capital F, like artifacts. Mm -hmm. But I may not do an official, like an official series with a playlist because there'd be so many videos I would have to retroactively add to that yeah. that it would be kind of daunting and maybe I should just keep it kind of unofficial. But it is one of the main things I do because I really enjoy looking at artifacts from the past and talking about their cultural and historical significance and uh, what they mean to me, what they might, might mean to others. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have seen this type of keychain ring uh, and let me know when you think maybe these might have been phased out because in my entire life I've never seen these before. I was born in the mid-80s. So I think by the time I was even born, they were not really being made anymore. I think that they're really a product of another time. So, But it's just kind of interesting to see this really everyday object and a completely alternate yeah. design of it that, I'm, that I've never seen before. Yeah, that's pretty trippy. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And for more videos like this relating to hobbies and history, subscribe to Captain Unusual and also subscribe to... Um, actually, I think it's called... Deviant Historic? N no. Oh. Um, yeah, Dicastinator. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Boy, the, 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 what's the, what's the, the guy who come who comes to you at night and makes you go to sleep? The Sandman? Yeah. He's you gotta watch out for that Sandman, dude, because yeah. the Sandman makes you say, makes all you, kinds of awful all, stuff. all kinds of things, Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll, ca <laughs> we'll catch you in the next yeah. episode.